Hi guys, you're here with Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and I wanted to tell you about my water bottle, if you guys have ever noticed me drinking out of it. Um, basically, it's a way that you can do... It's a way that you can do an elixir and not have the stones touch the water. The water I use is from Peggy's. Peggy lives on a farm and she has a well, and that is beautiful water that doesn't have chlorine, it doesn't um, have fluoride, it doesn't have pharmaceuticals that they put in the water, and I'm not kidding, look into that. In New Jersey, about eight years ago, they tested the water, and there was 14 different pharmaceuticals in them. Three, three of them were antidepressants, four of them were mild opiates. I mean, come on, you guys, they're putting stuff in the water. It's documented, they admit it. And let's remember that fluoride was first tested on humans internally during the Holocaust and the Nazis <clears throat> used it with the Jewish people and um, why they used it was because <clears throat> I don't even want to touch the water when I'm talking about that kind of stuff why they used it was because they wanted to um, it, it does three things when you ingest it it makes you docile it makes you infertile and it uh, calcifies your pineal gland. Now that is true. Look into fluoride and how it calcifies your pineal gland. Um, that is why I'm so adamant about this water. Another water you could use is water from the tap that's been filtered through a Kangen machine. But that is the only tap water that I would drink is when it's filtered through a Kangen machine. So basically this is awesome. You put the water in the top and in the bottom it's got a, it's got a uh, glass separation here, right? So the crystals don't touch the water, they just charge it. And then underneath, out come the crystals. All of those little crystals there fit into my bottle at the bottom. And the coolest thing about this bottle, uh, there's clear quartz and, and rose quartz, but the coolest thing about this bottle is that because the bottom is open, and a lot of them, the bottles like this, they have them, but the crystals are in there and then they're locked in. How are you supposed to charge your crystals? And if you wanted, and, and those ones are like $140. And this one I found on eBay. And if anybody wants to know like a link to it or something, I can definitely share it with you. It was $60. It comes with like a case, but I don't keep the case on because you can't see the rocks, uh, excuse me, the stones. And, um, it makes this beautiful crystal elixir, but when they're locked in on the ones that were so expensive, you can't charge your stones, you can't change the stones. And here, sometimes I put amethyst, sometimes I put, um, you know, selenite. I put lots of different things in here, but if it was locked in, I couldn't. <clears throat> so this bottle is so wicked. I love it so much, and I drink out of it all the day. You could also put your moon blessed water in there and just have like a triple charged water. Oh my goodness. Um, this is one of the bottles where I make copper wire and put the moonstone in. And um, I think this is a piece of red jasper. But copper, um, a lot of people's blood is made of iron. But since I'm RH negative, mine is a copper base. So I put copper around mine. If you're RH negative, look into your blood type. That's also super interesting. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to talk about this because tomorrow is the full moon, and if you're getting ready to make full moon water, remember, you don't need these things. The moonstone's on there because I can make moon water without the moon, like, you know, because the moonstone will charge it. So you could definitely put moonstone in the bottom of this and have moon water all the time. The full moon is tomorrow night, which is Sunday, the, I believe, uh, 26th of August, but it is tomorrow. I know it's tomorrow night. So I've got a really busy day, you guys, and I'm going to be trying to show you everything I do. All right, come back and join me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch. I love you all so very much.